Hi, my name is Jason Page with the Multi Multicultai Studio, and I'm here to introduce Greg Wiley. How you doing? Uh, I, I'm here to show you some of my uh, Daguerreotype collection. Uh, I'm not, I, I wouldn't call myself an expert on these. I, I, I just recently started collecting them, but uh, I, I think I got some interesting stuff to, 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 sh to show you. And people don't get to see these very often. They, 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 museums never put these on display. Uh, they, it, the, the reason why is uh, they're, they're fragile, uh, they're sensitive to heat, they're sensitive to light, and the cases can get damaged easily. Um, what are these prints called? Uh, they're called the garotypes. Uh, and these are the early, very earliest types of, of photographs. Um, they, uh, they were invented by uh, the Daguerre uh, in uh, 1839. Um, it, through research that he had done with, with, with uh, another person named uh, Niespice, they uh, they they had done some research up until like 1830, and uh, he Nisbet died uh, like around around 1830, and the Gare continued to research, and finally around 1839 he he came up with a workable solution. Um, previous to that, there there. It, People have been able to make uh, images using using silver, uh, and but they they weren't able to fix them for any length of time. Um, the Gare was finally able to to, to to fix the image onto a plate. Um, now, right at the same time, um, a gentleman in in England named named Fox Talbot had also came up with his own uh, uh, photographic process and so they both kind of came out at right about the same time um, but the difference between the Garotypes and uh, the Fox Talbot uh, process which were uh, Calotypes were that the, the, the Garotypes were pr printed uh, directly onto to a uh, metal plate. They were, the, uh, the, the, the images that you see are the actual images that were taken in, in the camera. So they, the, 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 the plate was put behind the camera, uh, well before that was, was coated with silver. Uh, then it's put behind, behind, behind the camera, exposed, and then that's where things get kind of dangerous. Uh, the Im images were developed in mercury vapor, and this a, a lot of, lot of uh, early photographers developed health health problems later on in life, life because of that, and that's part of the reason why it it fell out of out of favor. Although there were a number of factors, um, but uh, they, a, a lot of people. Um, mistake other types of processes for for uh, daguerreotypes. Uh, one, one typical thi thing is people will m mistake uh, tint types and ambrotypes for daguerreotypes um, and this is because a lot of times uh, ambrotypes and, and uh, tint types will come in these fancy uh, cases like this this image right here uh, is a, in a uh, hard case and it's got got this fancy sort of uh, uh, framing around around it uh, and so pe people a lot of times people will get those mistaken for the gear types uh, but the gear types um, have a much different appearance. They 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 have a mirror-like appearance. And once once you've actually seen the daguerreotype, you you wouldn't confuse it for anything anything else because there there really isn't anything else that was that that's ever been made uh, 
photography and, and photography that's that's uh, similar to it. Really, it's it, it's it's quite unique. What's more common for a tent type is that they'll just come just like this. That uh, and the, the reason why why these became really popular uh, it. it, it after, um, after 1860 is because they're so durable and right around 1860 that's when 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 the uh, Civil War started and soldiers needed a really durable type of image there there there, there, there are a few modern daguerreotype type artists out right right now and that's that's one of the things that that uh, makes it really challenging for for for, for modern daguerreotypists. So they definitely have to take uh, safety measures it's that, definitely. Were, that oh, yeah. were not common back then. Show you an actual daguerreotype. So um, we'll start with this one right here. This image right here, you can you, you can you can see right here that it's that it's uh, got a reflective uh, image right right here. You can you can see your face in the in in, in the image, um, and if you hold it at certain angles, the a image actually kind of disappears, or you you see it as a as a negative rather rather than a positive. And that's kind of what one one thing that made made people uncomfortable about the gear tapes, uh, the the fact that that you could uh, turn the image at different angles and your image would just totally disappear. That that kind of freaked a lot of people out. You know that. Uh, um, People tend to, uh, 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 one thing that people always talk about when they see the Garretype images is how stiff the people look and how uncomfortable they look. One of the reasons why they, they were uncomfortable is the, the exposure times were, 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 were long. And that but, would have normally sell for something like that. Uh, the gear types usually, usually they're gonna they're gonna sell for a, for about forty bucks at least. Probably the first expensive image that I bought was of this this image here, which is of a uh, teenage girl. Um, she, she what, what attracted me to this image was the fact that it, it's kind of my it feels very modern uh, the other thing that I, I kind of liked about it was the way that way the photographer uh, cropped the image you know the, the, the way he cropped off the flower a little a little, a little bit um, just the, those things kind of yeah, kind of attracted me to that, that. Uh, image. The image that I really wanted was this one right here of this uh, couple right here, and I did. I never thought that I was going to be able to get this one right here. Um, they, they're they're kind, kind, the way they dress is kind of eccentric, you know. It's they're, they're obviously pretty wealthy, but uh, they're they're also a little bit eccentric, I think. And um, I, 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 when, as soon as I saw that image, I really wanted it. This right here, what I liked about this couple here is they just they look like a modern couple. They, they look this couple looks like they're from like the 70s or something. They, like and, and they look like they're getting ready for to get divorced. You know, they, they you know, they, they, they it, it, it's, it's, they got divorced written all over their face, and, and I, I, you know, I, I, I had to have this image. Then the other image that I was looking for was this one, and this right here, this is a uh, image uh, done by uh, Jesse Whitehurst. Um, and what, one of the things that attracted me to this image was just the off-center framing of the picture, uh, the the fact the fact that it, there was a little off-center. The other thing about this image is that it's it, it's a it's an early image, um, and you you can tell that it's an early image um, by the fact that it's got got a very plain background. 
the uh, the frame on here is is made with really heavy metal. There. The other thing about it is, it doesn't have one of these frame protectors on it. Um, and let me show you one where that does have this one image right here. Um, this is a little bit a later image right here. This image has has this frame protector on the uh, on on the edges of it, and those weren't introduced until like 1848. Another early image that I've got uh, is this one right here, and I, uh, even though this one's got the frame protector on it. I, I, I do believe that it's probably a, an early image because it, it, it's again it's got the uh, heavy frame framing uh, on on it. In uh, they also tend to use the very simple, very simple framing. Uh, like this one is designed to look like a, 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 a arch of a, a theater, you know, and, that, and that's that was a common theme in the in the very early. Pick the pictures, um, whereas a la on late, much later images, uh, you get a very fancy framing, and this image right here is got. Some, this is a very ornate frame frame here, uh, and this this one was probably closer to, to the 1860s. Uh, and this this is a very kind of unusual image in that you know they they, they these two they I, I don't think they're sisters you know I'm, I, I don't I, I'm not not certain about about that but I, I, I've looked at them closely I don't think they're sisters and um, they, they they seem to have a sort of like a bohemian dress to them like they're, they're I, I think they're, they're they're kind of artist types and uh, that was the, the the image on the website that was sold it was uh, it, they they were described as the wild girls. <laughs> after I, after I started do, looking for unusual images, then I kind of got back into something a little bit more conventional, um, which is like beautiful women in you know, we're, we're wearing patterned dresses and uh, so like that's what this row row here is a, 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 is about we've got got uh, this woman right here she's dressed in this this beautiful pattern dress here and uh, and she looks like she looks like royalty <laughs> uh, and the case on this this one is beautiful uh, this, this is one of the, one of the most beautiful cases that, I, that I've got in the collection. This one right here, um, I've actually we've I've actually got uh, I've got a name for the for the uh, person in this in this image. Uh, I just got got this recently, and according to the website, the, the person in this picture is Ida. Lestina Morgan. Um, and finally, I want to tell you about this image right here. Um, this image right here, we are going going to be uh, using this as as a uh, um, as as a reward for um, anyone who the first per well, I should say the first person. Who donates uh, $500 or more to the community dark 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 room? Um, so this 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 image can be yours, and it's it's really a quite nice nice image. This this image uh, was done by the studio of Anson, uh, and it's in very good shape. Yeah, very good. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Greg. Is there okay. anything else? Uh, that's about it. That's about it. Uh, All right. Well. Thank you from uh, on behalf of Multiculta, and uh, okay, and we look forward to helping out with this uh, Chicago community dark group. Okay, all right.